currently what obtains is that um, citizens interact with government in an uh, isolated manner. So for instance, if I want to transact business, I, let's say I want to um, register business for instance, I have to, to take my process through several various ministries to have this one transaction you know, completed within government. The, the concept of 21st century government is one that allows for an integrated approach so that the customer does not have, who is a citizen, does not have to interact at several various points within uh, government. In January of this year, we, um, we had this um, a symposium, uh, a summit and symposium, which kicked off the 21st century government uh, initiative. And at that event, which took place in Antigua uh, and Bermuda earlier this year, um, we had a summit of, of heads of government, um, prime ministers, and uh, a host of ministers throughout the region attended. And at that, um, at that event, we had substantial buying from governments throughout the region you know, for the concept and for the realization of both um, the, um, the concept of um, the uh, 21st century government as well as um, the, the, the single license space. In the session right now that is actually taking place there, um, we are um, we are we are well, engaging participants in uh, in a session in a workshop that um, is, we are presenting what we call in the the the, the collaborative centre for excellence. What we propose to do is to look at this collaborative centre for for excellence, and basically um, through this um, we. We, we hope that we can have a collaborative environment because we cannot achieve you know, um, what we want to without having a collective collaboration. Really, it's about, um, about sharing um, resources, sharing finances, uh, building capacity, um, and sharing capacity as well, sharing our, um, our, our resources. Um, because we are a small region. We have very small islands um, and some of the populations are so small that even if we look at trying to, um, to institute some form of service there, it's going to be very high, it's going to be a high cost. So we're looking at a, a prospect where we can share cost benefit from economies of scale. So that is one of the main, uh, I suppose, one of the main ways in which we plan to um, alleviate some of the high costs and also some of the, um, you know, the some of the, the hurdles that, that that might arise out of trying to bring everybody up to the speed at the same time. Once we get the buying, and, and at this session right now that's going on, currently we um, we are hoping to get, um, you know, once there's buying and once there's support for this, because it's not. The CTU that will be the ones who, um, of course, will be involved, but we have to have support and buying from all the stakeholders. So once there's support and buying, then the CTU will move ahead to put the instruments in place um, and the various structures in place to have it implemented. Actually, it's going quite well. I mean, turnout is excellent. Um, we're having a lot of participation. We're having a lot of um, um, very good discussion. Um, you know, it's people are responding. Um, ministers, we had several ministers. We had, um, I think, it's about 12 ministers attending the, the conference, and um, and they've all been very actively participating and engaging. And uh, I think, you know, we are getting um, buying. I think at this stage, we are people are in fact, you know, um, accepting the fact that we cannot do it alone. Um, and that there has to be collaboration, you know, amongst um, you know, all our member states in order to, to move the region forward.